Here we go. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> back at it. We are back, man. Back at it like a crab matic. Here we go. Man, we got good ones for you guys coming up for the month of February. Yeah, Dude. man. Mm. Uh this this kicks off our Black History Month celebration. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um for those of you guys that um are new to the channel, uh this is our second annual. Uh-huh. Um obviously we just started last year. And um yeah, we take the whole month, so every episode for the month of February will be dedicated to black history. We're going to talk about some knowns, some unknowns. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we've obviously had some recent news of certain people passing and stuff Mm -hmm. like that and, and legends and, but we're going to try to dive into some stuff that, you know, uh, maybe we don't know, you know, and and most of the time, uh, that's what ends up happening. And, and I, I look, we talked about it before, it's one of our favorite times of the year. One of my favorite because we just... <laughs> really get to research. I love it, dude. I love and it. And even some of the some of the known people um, that we're going to talk about that you know have some popularity and have some notoriety. Some of the stuff that you find out about their history and the mm. stuff they went through, and you're like, "Whoa!" Right. Like now you're even more of a legend, mm-hmm. you know. So. Yeah, very excited. Let's uh, yeah, let, let's kick it off, man. What you got for me? Uh, so, <clears throat> well, I got uh, so what we're gonna do today? We're gonna do two, um, two yeah, people. We're gonna talk about two legends. Two uh, legends. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. Uh, legendary Hank Aaron and Cicely Tyson. And they just recently passed in the month of January. Yep. Uh, we lost two great ones. Two great ones. And we thought, well, what better way to kind of kick off uh, Black History Month, dude? With, you know. Uh, kind of talking about the legends that just, Mm -hmm. you know, left us, you Mm -hmm. know, and uh, I'm super excited, dude. Like I'm a huge baseball fan. So I've, I've always kind of known of Hank Aaron, but uh, it was exciting for me to jump in dude and, and kind of learn um, some of the things dude, like, you know, Hank Aaron, Henry Luis Aaron Jr. Yep. Baseball slugger, man. <laughs> hammer. The hammer. Oh, yeah, dude. He was Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank, dude. Uh, that was his nickname. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a book out there, dude, of his memoirs, uh, like a autobiography of uh, his career, his life, his accomplishments, all that stuff. Uh, you guys go check that out. I believe it's called The, the Hammer, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I, I believe I have it in my notes here, which I I'll, I could get to just to correct myself later if that's if it is actually titled something else. In case you guys wanted to go check it out, but uh, you know most so his baseball career, man. You know, uh, yeah, it kind of speaks for itself, bro. He's one of the the greatest baseball players of of all time. Of all time, and um. He uh he broke Babe Ruth's record. Yep. Um, which uh it was seven hundred and fourteen home runs which Babe Ruth had, and I believe seven fifty five. Seven fifty five. Which now, we got to talk about that. Let's 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 really talk about that because yes. that time period, obviously Babe Ruth, too many is considered the greatest baseball player of all time. Right. Right. To to a lot of people. Right. There is an argument that Hank Aaron is the best ba- baseball player of all time. Right. Um, obviously, Jackie Robinson maybe meant the most. He, and, I, and yeah. he's one. He's one of the most. I think he's revered. Important. One of the most important, and and was a great baseball player. In, I think in his Jackie own Robinson's right. important to mention here because of of uh, being black and being in a major league baseball right. team. Like that is very important. changed the game. Right? Changed it, dude. Just like absolutely changed the game for a guy like Hank Aaron. Right, you know to what I mean. Have Hank Aaron to actually get in because it was right. somewhere I think eight, eight or ten years later, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. that he got in. You know, uh, and started with the Milwaukee Braves, dude. I Milwaukee had, Braves, bro. I had no idea. Me neither. The, the the Braves were in Milwaukee at one point. Me neither. And I really had no idea no, about that. I know, you know, it's been was, Atlanta though. Well, you know, I, I you kind of hear you know Bro- Brooklyn Dodgers and stuff, you mm-hmm. know, but you know. Uh, so from what I was reading, man, I, I heard it was in Atlanta. Went to Milwaukee. Went back to Atlanta. 
the Braves. Right. So it changed over a couple times. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, you see that in kind of all history of sports in some sort of sense. Well, it's kind of like the, the, you know, when you think back about the Los Angeles Lakers, Mm. but they were the Minneapolis Lakers. Right. You know what I mean? And and you forget, like, no, they were in Minneapolis. You know what I mean? So, anyways, yeah. But but I, I think it's, I think it's important, man, that, you know, a black baseball player at that time was able to break that record mm-hmm. and not only break it, but shatter it, you know, dude, he seven fifty five. And what's crazy is in, um, uh, 15 years, uh, he had, I'd have to look for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many notes, dude. Uh, I just really just really dug digging into, uh, his, his background, but, um, where was it at, man? Uh, right here. Uh, one of only two players to hit 30 or more home runs in a season at least 15 times he did that. Crazy. And then uh, his lowest was 24. He never got lower than 24 home runs that's in a crazy. season. That's crazy. And, and you got, we got to think about the time period. Bro, like, people, we got to so think about the time period. crazy to yeah. me, like, the power hitter that he was. Like, yeah. Again, I became I was such a huge baseball fan back in the day. Did not, you know, mm-hmm. knew of Hank Aaron. Always of knew of, of Hank course. Aaron, right? But never knew the legacy really of Hank Aaron mm-hmm. until I dove deep and I was like, "Bro, that is insane." There's only one other person that's beat his home run uh record to this date. Do you know who it is? The record? The his his home run record, the most home runs. Only one? There's only one. Was it McGuire? No. Close, though. Close. Like, as far as the same time frame. It was, it's, it's one of three people I can't remember. Is it Sosa? Mm-mm. Bonds. Bonds. Barry Bonds was the one who broke his record. Um, McGuire and Sosa got close, though. They got close, They but, but I think a lot of people um, forget because they had that huge season where it was, was it 70 home runs in it? In a year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And they were both battling each other. Yeah, remember? yeah. I remember that was that historic. was a crazy year. And baseball. obviously that was, you know, steroid era and stuff like right. that. I, whatever. Whatever. You still I, gotta be whatever, you still dude. gotta be able to look at a ball <laughs> and swing at it and smack it. Like I don't give a shit. Right, about that. right. Uh man, we could go down a we rabbit go down hole, whole rabbit hole with, with, the, with steroids. But anyways, yeah, but I think a lot of people forget Barry Bonds was such a he was another power hitter. He was the only one to break that record. Now, uh, there was a rumor going around uh, with the, that Hank Aaron was pissed that he was going to break his record, right? Mm-hmm. And so it, they kind of knew, you know, obviously you don't know when Barry Bonds is going to break that that record. I remember when he broke the record, too. Now, now yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about it. Oh, and man. so they were like, wow, Hank Aaron's not in attendance today. That's really surprising, mm. especially – uh, we'll, we'll dive into his career uh, post baseball as well, uh, or after he got out of being a player. Mm-hmm. But um, when Barry Bonds broke the record, they were like, "Oh man, he must be pissed off that he broke the record." And then on the jumbotron, Hank Aaron pre-recorded a message uh. and said, "I'm so proud of you, yada yada." And then people were like, "Oh, okay, all right." Because I think it's too hard to. I think that was a really smart way to do it. A really, you know. Yeah. Like, why fly over all, you know, in San Francisco where, right. where Barry Bonds was at? Right. Or if they're playing somebody like New York, wh- whoever. Like, how do you know where that's going to be in line up? Well, and especially so they, they, weren't, they, weren't, they weren't pitching to a guy like Barry Bonds Dude, at that point. Got, so you didn't know, so times, you didn't know if he was going to smack a home run right, right. or not at, at that point. Well, mm-hmm. I remember because at that point... It was like, is he not? Is he going to do it? Is he not going to do it? And he was getting walked so much because mm. nobody wanted to be a part of that record. Right? Who wants to be the pitcher that throws that pitch? So, and anyways, I, I digress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Barry Bonds is the only one to break that record, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But cool, man. Like records are meant to be broken, in my opinion, dude. Like, of course. It, it, the the game as the game evolves. I don't care what sport but, it is, but. But for Hank Aaron to do it in that time well, that's, period, that's what's uh, amazing. It still is amazing. Like you, and for him to hold it for that long, and you could never take that away from no. Hank Aaron. You can never say what he did in his seasons that he played, which was a lot in baseball. 
that he broke that record. It will always be a stamp in history books of what accomplishment he's made in baseball for that. You know, can can we talk about that too? Okay. The length of time that this man was in baseball, yeah, as a player. Mm-hmm. The only thing I can recently compare it to. There's only two athletes that I can look at in recent history. Mm-hmm. Um, well, three. Uh, one is is uh, is not with us anymore, and Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. The level of excellence he was able to right. sustain over his How career. How old was he, dude? By the way, do you know, like roundabout? Uh, when, when Bryant left, retired, yeah, when he left, was he close to forty? He was like forty, bro. That's a long time because he was eighteen when he yeah, got he drafted. Was, he was like he was eighteen like or nineteen, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. So yeah, he might have been. 40. That's a long time, dude. To be yeah, it was twenty years. So, but to be an athlete, you know what I'm saying? The the yes, what you have the regiment you have to yes. go through, <laughs> like to to make it over ten years in any sport, and obviously baseball, the, you're you're not going through the rigor. That some of these other sports, you know, but it, dude, you're still, still, you're, you're, you're still, you, you yeah, you still got to run, still gotta balls, run, you still got, yeah, you, you, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 got, yeah, your arms got to be in. It's shape not, for it's not as, it's not as constant, but yeah, the diving, the bro, you and, know, and and Hank Aaron was a right fielder for right. most of his career, dude. Right. Like that's where, and uh, he played all over the place actually, but uh, that was his most. Uh, the the position his he was position. in, yeah, uh-huh. that was in for most of his years until his like later years. I think, like his last two years, he was pretty much a DH, you know. Which normally happens. Oh, of to course, guys dude. Like, that. like again, you're saying for being in the league for so long, right? Uh, your bat still good, and your eye and hand coordination still good mm-hmm. to see a pitch that's coming at you seventy plus miles an hour. I, I you don't I don't care how old you are, dude. You know how hard that is. Go to a batting cage. Yeah, and try that, dude. Seriously, is it's tough, man. Yeah, it's, it's really it's, tough. It's it's very tough. Um, I mean, just incredible. You know, Tom Brady comes to mind. Tom, yeah, Tom Brady, LeBron is one of them. James, mm-hmm. and the just the level of excellence for that long of a period is just again. and like again back then it's like again the conditioning it, you have to be in some sort of condition, right? Bro, like. I, it just, I, it's crazy, dude. Yeah. That, that you could be in a league for whatever sport for so 20, long. You Twenty know? plus years, bro. Man, he played. It's crazy. Twenty five time All Star. Mm hmm. Like, come on, bro. Right. Twenty five time All Star. Right. Yeah. I, I'm just, uh, th- just. It's incredible. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> I, it, it's nuts, like, man. Because and we're we're gonna get into his like you said his post baseball mm-hmm. stuff. But his baseball resume, go find one that is better, top mm. to bottom, better, I, top yeah, to I bottom. Like, I, you know, you know, the only other baseball player that I I would not say was better, but like actually put up there is like very consistent as Hank Aaron is Tony Gwynn. Okay, I agree with you on yeah, that. Yeah, because Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn was not a. Uh, um, a power, you know, right. a hitter. He was, he would lob it just in holes, mm-hmm. and he was perfect at that. Mm-hmm. He was so good, mm-hmm. but he was, you know, uh, just as hitting wise, you know, and consistency. I, and that's the only player that I could think of in baseball. Now I'm sure people out there can probably throw names out at us or whatever, and that's fine. But uh, in, in in my years, Tony Gwynn would be the only one that would come up in my head and be go oh yeah yeah he would be the most consistent but hank aaron was a beast bro like yeah i'm this, just i'm sorry i'm just looking at these stats and i'm like oh yeah dude the stats are insane man <laughs> mlb records 2297 career runs batted in mm-hmm. 6856 career total basis mm-hmm. uh 1477 career extra base hits and then the 25 career all-star appearances are the records that he holds. And obviously he held the home run record for a long time. A long time. A very long so time. So I would still put that in there as like a as a star. Right. You know a what I'm asterisk. saying? A little asterisk right there, like <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, um 
Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, dude, in uh, 1982, August 1st, 1982, he was inducted to the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Uh, right there with, uh, I think it was Ty Cobb. Um, uh-huh. I believe Ty Cobb was the one um, McGuire and uh, Sosa were ch- chasing, right? Maybe, I don't, I don't remember. That, that high, dude, that I was, weird. I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I, should've, I, should've I can't remember either. But, uh, anyways, but yeah, man, uh, became a Hall of Famer, dude, uh, in 1982. But in 1980, dude, uh, this is the first uh, vice president, dude, of black vice president of a team became of uh, the Atlanta Braves. Mm. So he became and worked in the offices of the Atlanta Braves management team, basically. Right. And dope, dude. And uh, his goal was to bring minorities through uh, even more, open the gates even further of bringing them in to play baseball. Right, right. And he played a huge role of, course of being he did. in management, mm-hmm. you know, making a stepping stone for management in any sport, really. Right. To be a vice president of, you know, yeah. of the Atlanta Braves. Mm-hmm. A feat on its own, dude. Yeah. You know, before he's even inducted. That was like, I think he retired in 1979. So, uh, from baseball and then baseball. Uh, the team that he was affiliated with, uh, the Atlanta Braves, uh, took him up uh, mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. management. Then, you know, uh, mm-hmm. just just amazing, dude. Uh, post, uh, you know, his baseball stuff. Like he was in baseball for another. I think he was in it till the '90s, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if I have that written down or not. Um, uh, yeah, actually, the airport network and. Uh, January 21st in the Major League Baseball announced the sale of Atlanta Braves and that's when da, 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 da. so he was a part of the Atlanta Braves dude for a long period of time right basically his, his whole career uh, I Had a Hammer was the name of the book mm-hmm. he published in 1990 by mm-hmm. the way mm-hmm. just saw it so yeah there we go uh, correct myself on that dude but um, anyways man he had uh, restaurants he had a chain of uh 30 different restaurants, dealerships, dealerships, BMW, Toyota, Land, Land Rover, Rover, Honda, 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 crazy dude. Uh, just what a man, dude. Like what he did uh, for baseball and then what he did after baseball, just as an entrepreneur, a businessman, you know, you have to respect what he's done. Yeah. You know? It's just so. It's freaking awesome, dude, what he's done. Yeah, I mean, just what he did as a player, again, you know, you got we got to talk about the time period because, you know, a lot of people want to talk about how uh, racism, it was, oh, that was back then. Mm. It wasn't that long ago. Right. It wasn't. You know, your grand, your, your grandmother – you know, was living during that time. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, obviously, right? right. Um, your 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 father was living during parts of that time. Mm-hmm. No, not you, but you know what I'm saying for the listeners and and, the, and people watching. Like, no, even my dad. Even that's well, my, my mom, I, you know, you mine know too. You know like, what I mean? Yeah. There's a part of yeah, you know, like it's it's a generation. It's one or two generations removed. It's not it's that not long that ago. ago. It's not that long ago, dude. And so. You know, for a guy to come from the Negro Leagues, mm-hmm. um, go Thank you into for ma- that. yeah, yeah. About that. yeah, um, go go into Major League Baseball, and and basically be better than, or at least He's- on equal playing field for a lot of people than the guy, the guy, the guy. Like still to this day, there's a lot of people that are like not Babe Ruth for sure, especially the older community there right. that you know got to see at least some you know some highlights or whatever the case may be by the way he got a lot of death threats <coughs> and hate mail and overwhelmingly oh, yeah. of people like you better not pass this record if you yeah. pass this record basically i'll kill you yeah that's crazy and he still did it oh right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like just the just adversity amazing. that yes. he had like they don't they didn't want you to be great they as a black, but as a black not, baseball player, they did player. not want him to be good. You could be good, right? But not, you could help us win, mm-hmm. but you can't be all time great mm-hmm. at that time. Right. And 
And then to go on and, and, and like you said, you know, getting into management, um, uh, upper management for, you know, the team that he played for for so many years um, and being a role model in the sense that you can transition your baseball career into something more than baseball. Mm -hmm. um, you don't just have to retire and, and go into the sunlight. Um, and the thing was, he was basically uh, a liaison in a sense for between the Braves and the cable networks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was a part of brokering those deals right. to get these contracts yep. with, you know, uh, I think it was Turner. Yeah, I think it is Turner. It's Turner, from what right? I remember, From what I remember correctly, I think it was yeah, Turner. Yeah, TBS. Yeah, Turner. You yeah, know? That's Turner. Um, you know, was uh, uh, the vice president of the business development for the airport network. Like th this is right when TV is starting to change. Like the, the, around this time is in the, you know, the 1980s and there's more coverage, you more know, coverage. There's, there's more coverage of sports. There's more the, people are, have TVs at home. More right. people have more exactly. TVs at That's home. Yep. Um, you know, and, and, and so for him to, to be a part of that kind of leading team, to do that and be black and be a former player. Mm -hmm. You really have to think about that. And then what he did as a businessman, right? You know, as the you, as man. you said, yeah, dude, owning, like, you know, going and owning dealerships and owning restaurants. This is not things that players were doing. No, as a whole, it's almost like he said a trend because you see, it's almost like you see that now. Like, uh, it's a must it's now. Like you, you just expect it. Right. Because it's like, okay, what restaurant are you you putting your money into or, or you know, putting your name on, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. what, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you kind of, you kind of mm -hmm. have to take that route. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's part of being, you know, bigger than baseball, you know, or bigger than with a sport that you are attached to. Agreed. Because, again – his career that lasted as long as it did, your body wears out. You got it. You know, what are you doing afterwards? You know? Right. So a lot of players, you know, get into those things. And I think hey, Aaron really kind of set that up for people to go, Oh, we can do, I didn't know. Well, I mean, look at, <laughs> you know, look, at we look at today, we man, the, own car dealerships and yeah. restaurants and all other business. I mean, like crazy. Look at the magic Johnson's. Yeah. And the Shaquille O'Neal's of the world. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the list goes on, right? But you look at a guy like Magic Johnson, who has been revered as one of the, uh, pi you know, not pioneers, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of ah, figureheads of mm -hmm. one of the biggest examples of leaving a sport and then becoming this mogul, oh, yeah, like the, yeah, you know, for the sure. ownership, yep. the mm -hmm. the businesses, the movie theaters. I mean, Magic Johnson had like a solid 10 years after he retired where it was like everything he bought turned to gold. Right, dude. It was you know, it was crazy. It dude. was like, yo, I'm buying up all these movie theaters. Money. Mm -hmm. his, his ownership and and what I'm so that goes back to a legendary guy like Hank Aaron mm -hmm. showing people the way. Right. Showing and, you and this can be done. And then turning around and Paving after the road. a a, a long and prosperous career for him to do that and then have the same in his after mm. baseball life. Right. And have a long prosperous life after that. Mm -hmm. It it's it's just something to see, man. It's it really is. Like when you die back into the guy that he was and the things that he he was a part of leading the charge for it, it's just beautiful, man. It is. It it's really, very it really is beautiful. And, you know, you really have to, like, whether you're, no, no matter black, white, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever, dude. It's it's amazing. Uh, one more thing before we move on, dude, from Hank Aaron. Yeah, we, um, damn, I'm like, damn, we could have made this a whole show. Uh, we could have, for easy. <laughs> for sure, for <laughs> easy, dude. Uh, uh, so he was awarded, dude, I had to look this up. And I want to share this with it because I don't know if people know. Uh, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he was awarded that. And let me see if I have that somewhere. Uh, it was by President Bush uh, Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I want to read to you in case you guys don't know 
what the Presidential Medal of Freedom is, because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I want to share with everybody. It's, it's an award uh, bestowed by President of the United States to recognize people who have made an especially uh, 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 contribution to the sec security and national interests of the United States, world peace, cultural, and other significant public and private endeavors. Um, so... It, it was started back by uh, Truman back in 45, but it was that was for uh, people who went to war. Uh, that was um, uh, really for like World War II is where it started uh, to give this medal to. And then it, it, it kind of took a different form with John F. Kennedy in 1963, kind of renaming it the Medal of Freedom, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom, which was more geared towards civilians and what they did uh, for basically the culture. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. that's freaking awesome, dude. I had no idea that that was a thing. Yeah. I had no idea. No, I mean. I mean. <laughs> but like, you hear about these awards, and you're like, yeah, dope. Right. <laughs> I I mean, I'm with you, bro. Like, I didn't, but I didn't know I, exactly I, why, you know. But I wanted to look it up, dude. <clears throat> I think it's kind of cool, and it's, you know, so next time if you guys And shame hear on that, us for not knowing that, too. Right. We're too old to not know that. <laughs> We got we to gotta be better, man. I feel like there's just so much. <laughs> but I feel like there's so much We got to be better, bro. <laughs> we do. You know what? I was it's a, But it, you're right, though. I mean, we need to be better, but it's also important, I think, for everybody, us, including everybody else out there. I mean, the reason why we do this this podcast uh, is to learn, dude. If you're not learning, sure. you're Back. dead in the water, dude. Like, Back. what are you doing? Back. Like, at least Big learn fact. something. Yeah. You know? And if you don't know it, look it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fun to look some stuff up so yeah man shout out to hank aaron what hank he did aaron, man bring it uh, bring more minorities into the game power, of baseball man. rest in power for sure yeah man for sure shout out to henry mm -hmm. aaron so what you got what's up next uh we got cicely tyson man cicely let me, tyson let me, dude. let me get to my notes man. yeah yeah because uh let me tell you something cicely tyson is for as long as I can remember mm -hmm. has been great grandmama. I know, dude. 1924 she was born, bro. 1920. Can you believe? Well, hold on. Let's stop right there for just a second, dude. 1924. It's crazy thing when she was, what, 96 when she passed away? Mm -hmm. 96. 96. Mm -hmm. You know what's the stuff that you've seen? In ninety six years, unbelievable. From nineteen twenty four, I mean. So let me give you, let me give you a, a just a you quick saw thing from a rotary phone to a, a cord. I mean, like real, just real, weird real stuff quick. like that, you know. With you, and I want to, I, I do want to talk about that. But before we get into that, when she was born, mm -hmm. she was diagnosed with a heart murmur. Mm. She was given months to live as a baby, and live to be ninety six. Ninety six. And not just live to be 96, but live to be one of the most influential actresses, mm. period. Right. And what she did for black people and black theater, amazing. Like, this is, again, this is stuff that I know her from her being great grandmama. Right. <laughs> you know, she's the one that comes in. Mm hmm Right at the end, everybody tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. The reunion yeah. that got out of control. Yeah. Was it Sunday it? dinner that got out of control? I don't have the list. Great grandmama pop, popped up. <laughs> was and it she, she, and she was just She was in Tyler Perry. She was yeah, a man yeah. a whole bunch. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll dive into that. And mm. and she just you know she just comes and sits down and just spits that spits them bars <laughs> for you like. Right. You know, back in my day, it was mm -hmm. all about, and you just got to sit there. You got to sit there and consume that shit. Yeah, straight up. Because she is a hundred percent right, mm -hmm. and that goes to in her in her real life what she went through. Think about this: nineteen twenty four. Mm. We talked about Hank Aaron. Could you imagine being a black actress, an actress at, at just in those early years? Obviously, she was born in 24, right? But right, right. Uh, her first film was like was in 1946 in something. or something yeah. like that. I want to say you're right. Yeah. Uh, 1948. There you go. 
Okay. Yep. 1948 to 2021. She was active. 1948. Yeah, dude. As an actress, period. Mm-hmm. As a black actress, come on, bro. It's just, it, it just wasn't a thing. It just wasn't a thing, right? Not really, you know? And so what she had to go through, what she saw in almost 100 years mm-hmm. of life, and, you know, in some of her most recent interviews, she talked about how how young she felt and how vibrant mm-hmm. she felt, you know, and and – just recently, then she was feeling. She was still feeling good. Yeah, she was like, "I'm out here. I'm good. <laughs> I'm out here. Right? Yeah. You know, I, I got, I got a lot. I got a lot to still contribute, and that just goes to the spirit of a woman like mm. that. You know, having been through so much and still looking so much forward to the future. Yeah, dude. That is, I mean, to 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 come into this world and basically have a death sentence in a sense and then to not only fight it but then become like i said one like let, let's 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 dive into some of these stats yeah, bro, yeah because this list i don't even know if i can go through the whole list bro, bro. it's Jesus. crazy bro <laughs> I'm like, got I got to so start, I got to start off like somewhere bro, in the she's middle, got so bro. Many awards, dude. It's, it's just crazy, it's bro. Where's my notes at, bro? She's got, man, dude. It's oh like, when you're God. like researching, you're like, holy crap, dude. Plus she was a fashion model too. Yes. So I, that's, I think that's important to bring up as well. Like being a fashion model and being, being a black flash fashion model. It, dude, you know what's crazy, bro? You see these pictures of her as a young lady. Mm-hmm. By the way, she like I know she aged, but she ain't age. She she was beautiful. She aged she was gracefully, gracefully, bro. Yeah, dude, she sure as hell did. Man. Like she, I don't think she added on a wrinkle until like nineteen eighty <laughs> something, bro. Like nineteen ninety three or something. Like right, dude. Legit, right. Like she for years was just. I mean, I'm looking at a picture of her in nineteen seventy three. Mm. Which would have made her what 40, 49, mm-hmm. which is young, but I'm saying, yeah, but hey, 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 motherfucker, and a wrinkle on her face, bro. <laughs> she got two dimples right there. That's about it. Oh uh, man, man yeah, where dude. like where like where do we start, bro? I don't know where to start. I just um, her career was uh, just absolutely yeah. She was amazing, she was dude, a like, a model for um, Ebony magazine. Mm-hmm. Very popular magazine back in the days. Shout out to all my people who remember Ebony Magazine. <laughs> you hear me? Um, well, yeah. e- well, because it was Ebony Magazine lasted for years. Yeah. Like yeah. even when I, I when I was a kid, I remember mm-hmm. Ebony Magazine. I remember, you know, in the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Ebony Magazine, dude. For um, sure. Remember magazine racks? <laughs> right. Man, man, man. Jeez. <laughs> I'm glitching right now. Right. Um, <laughs> uh. Uh, man, um, there's just so much to cover. Um, but like just some of her work, dude, like, you know, it's like so much, bro. I have so many notes here. (laughs) I know, dude, there's so much, uh, like some of my favorites, like fried green tomatoes. She was in, she was in, uh, uh, Tyler Perry's, uh, I don't think I have it here. I can't remember off the top of my head. Diary of of a Man, Black Black Woman. woman. Mm -hmm. Um, She's been on the TV show uh, How to How to Get Away with Murder. Um, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah dude, yeah. Emmy Awards, Tony Awards. Uh, Yo, like, just delicious. I'm, I'm about to goes. spit some bars. Go ahead, spit some bars, bro. Uh, let's just let's just go through the. I'm just gonna go through some awards. Yeah, okay. Go through it. Yep. Um, 1973 nominated Best Actress. Uh, in 2018, uh, won an Academy Award. Um. In what year? I'm sorry. Uh, 2018. Um, in 1974, Best Lead Actress in a Drama and Actress of the Year in a mm. Special for the Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. Mm. One. Both. Damn. Um, this is, That was 1974. 74, dude. Yeah. Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Miniseries or Special uh, for Oldest Living Confederate Widow Tells All won that. Nominated. I mean, she was nominated Dude, for Dude, she was nominated like crazy. For, like <laughs> crazy. Um man. 2013 Tony Award 
for the best actress in a play uh, Mm -hmm. for the trip to Bountiful, won that. Uh, Career Achievement, Peabody uh, Award, Mm -hmm. Career Achievement, won. Uh, 2020, she was uh, inducted into the Television Hall of Fame. Um, Some of her nominations uh, include How to Get Away with Murder Mm -hmm. for Outstanding Guest Actors in a Drama Series, um, a Lesson Before Dying, Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Miniseries or Movie, Sweet Justice, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, um, King, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited Series, like uh, Outstanding, out, Outstanding Single Performance by a Supporting Actress in a Comedy or Drama Series nominated for The Roots, 1977. Yeah, yep, I saw that she was part um, of The Roots. Yeah. And that's just the nominations. Right. That's not... That's, that doesn't count all the movies that she was in, plays that she was actually right, in. Right. I want to um, add one thing. Go too. ahead. She was also a uh, part of the Medal of Freedom, uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom, just like uh, Hank Aaron yes. was. And Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Was the one to give that yes. to her. Yep, I remember um, that. That was in, uh, let me see, 2016. Mm-hmm. So, dope, man. Just, uh, I mean, her career, her life was full of just amazing accomplishments dude and and her again paving the way dude like her film career early film career Mm -hmm. a lot of it was geared towards civil rights Mm. and there's a lot that you can do outside of of your career but let's remember the times too you know we look at a guy like we look at people like uh as far as athletes muhammad ali Right. Colin Kaepernick, Mm -hmm. LeBron James now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously when when Muhammad Ali did it, um, people didn't love him. Let's let's just let's just call a spade a spade. Right. Um, When Colin Kaepernick did it, people didn't love him. LeBron James, you know, uh, uh, the the Joe Browns of the world. Um, Jim Brown, not Joe Brown, Jim Jim, Brown. I'm thinking uh, too much goddamn uh, Tyler Perry in my head. Uh, (laughs) Whatever his name is, Mr. (laughs) Mr. Brown, Uh, the Jim Browns of the world. Yeah. you know, the Bill Russells of the world. I can go on and on. But, you know, you look at somebody like LeBron James in today's um, kind of culture and climate and what he's able to do as a superstar still playing the game. And he's able to take that outside of his career. Mm-hmm. If we remember at these in, during these times, what was a way that you could get your point across? If you're, if you're a celebrity, it it's, was through your profession. Right. And it for you to is, take too. that, it is. Yeah. But for you, th- at this time in right. our history, mm-hmm. for you to take the risk of doing right. some yes. of these and throwing it in the face mm-hmm. of people for the sake of doing right and not your career, absolutely outstanding. I think it's super important to uh, that movies, TV shows – Entertainment in particular, dude, can uh, holds a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. You know, more it's so embedded in our culture. I think you know, and it's your way to get your point across to where people will actually watch. Because <clears throat> if you're on the news or something, right, you're probably not tending to you know. Because you're at a rally or whatever, you're supporting something or against something, and you're speaking out against it or for it, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and you might not get the the, the spotlight that you need. Right. What's the spotlight that America, the American culture, right? Uh, you get your point across through movies and TV shows, right? Like that, it reaches everybody. You know. Everybody loves to go to the cinema, mm-hmm. you know, to the yeah. movies. Let's go to the movies. Let's go watch something, you know. Mm-hmm. Back then, you didn't have trailers either. You know what I'm saying? No. You just, oh, okay, you see a poster, and you're like, yeah, okay, well, Yeah, cool. back then, it was just who, who who was in the movie. Who was in it? Who was in the movie? Right. So, I mean. Name of the movie and the two stars. And, or the one star, whoever getting, it was. Getting your point across. And that was getting ass in seats by right there. Right. Of course. Of course, mm-hmm. dude. So, uh, just so cool. The, you know, you know, you, you, you put that out there and mm-hmm. you make your statement that way. I think it makes for our culture in particular, the United States American culture. I think it's really a, 
the one of the best ways to reach people, dude. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think it's one of the best forms, even though it's entertainment, mm -hmm. quote unquote. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in which it can be, and they're fun. Some, you know, but to get really get a point across, sometimes it really hits home, dude. Watching a movie, and yeah. you're like. Damn, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when it's put in front of you and you're watching it on a big screen TV now, you know, whatever, still has impacts today. For sure. Like, you're like, oh, my God, I didn't even realize. Yeah. Like, I got to go research this, man. Like, what's going on over, you mm -hmm. know? It, I really, I just think it's really embedded in, in our culture. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's super important that stuff in she, what she did. Back then, dude, yeah, getting man. your point across and getting what you stand up for and what you believe in across on screen so people can see it. People that you would never expect to watch it. Watch Yo, it. like I, I when I was when I was researching like some of her older stuff, obviously, like I said, I mean, a lot of stuff I remember her from, you know, was being the great grandma that kind of came in, mm -hmm. you know, in a lot of these movies and shows. Um, but when I was researching and finding old clips um, I can't remember the name of the movie. I, I need to look it up again. Um, but there's one where uh, sh I think she was a judge. Mm. Is it in the TV show? Uh, and sh there, they sh the was that the older guy. Or a guy or stood up. It was a little bit older. Oh, okay. Um, guy stood up and was like, "Y'all need to go back to Africa." And man, just the the power in that scene mm. was incredible. I mean, oh, by the way, when she won the Tony Award, mm -hmm. she won at 88 years old. Damn. So, um, eight years ago, mm -hmm. and became the oldest recipient of a Tony Award mm -hmm. ever. So, that's, I mean, at 88 years old, bro. I can't even, bro, when you say 88, like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a ways off from that, bro. Bro, I don't. And I I'm think, like, I'm, I, I I'm like, I ain't never making 88, bro. Like, <laughs> when you think about 88, though, you're, I, I do. I'm like, bro. I mean, if you make it, am I gonna be walking with like? And she's yo, out, she was out there. She was, she was out it. there. She was kicking it, bro. Like, Dude, they was putting her in the wheelchair in the movies, and then they got done with the wheelchair. And and she's, she's like, like Whoop. I'm out of here. <laughs> we good, we good, we good. We got to see. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And. Man, just, just, you, you know, it, it, it hurts you because there's been so much loss, mm. but at the same time, it really makes you in a weird way. I don't want to, I don't want this to come out wrong. It makes you happy that when you know about the heart murmur. When you think about the things that she had to go through as a young black woman mm. in this country to achieve the uh, initial level of success that she achieved, which propelled her t to greater heights, what she was able to accomplish as a role model, um, as part of the civil rights movement um, in her film career. And you think 96 years on this planet. And might have had, you know, we don't know, right? Right. But looked like it was a couple more up in the tank. It makes you happy to see that. Mm -hmm. That somebody, it gives you hope. It gives you inspiration, you know, that she never quit. She never stopped. She There was always something that she could do, that, that she could be a part of yeah. that. She, you know, to I mean, to be 80 something, 90 something and still be popping up in movies. Right. And taking interviews and, and just be so vibrant. And, and, you know, you know, the old saying goes black don't crack. But I mean, come on now. Right. That's <laughs> right. That's a level that, you know, um, is incredible, man. And it gives you a lot of hope and a lot of inspiration. Dude, it know? gives you a lot of hope. Like just a lot of inspiration, what, man. You know. What you, what you can do in your life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're talking from 1948 uh, dude, to it, 2021, it, bro. I, I mean, dude, she had stuff lined up. I know she had I was looking at it. Dude. She had stuff lined up for 2021, you know? Stuff, obviously, they have to cancel and recast, whatever, right. you know? But 
she was still working. She man. was. She was she not. Was she grinding. was not going to stop. You know, she was grinding. Dude, still. Yeah. But I think it's just the love, the passion uh, for that that craft that she had. You know. And yeah, being, and just who she was. Who she a was. Person. Right. Yeah. You know. And how that portrayed on on screen um, up until this day, man. Mm-hmm. You know, just a, a beautiful, beautiful soul. Um. You know, it's it's one of those things. If you can accomplish a third of what she did, you had, you had a good life, right? Yep. And she had an outstanding. You know, going back to her her nominations and her awards, outstanding performance, well, outstanding, outstanding. outstanding. <laughs> like she had an yeah. outstanding life and an outstanding uh, stamp. And I, I keep bringing up the heart murmur, but um, I bring that up to say she was fighting since day one. And sometimes that just ain't the plan for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That just that that is not your That's story. That's not in the cards, right? That is not your story. Right. And she said from day one, okay, mm-hmm. that ain't the story. Yeah. It ain't gonna be months. It's gonna be some years. Mm. Some years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some years. Uh, so, man, we lost two good ones, man, in January 2021. Ones. But what a legacy, man, that they left. And uh, the stamp that they put on this life and yeah. the accomplishments that they both made. Uh, I'm so happy to to do, I wanna, I to do I, this, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's sad that we had to do it because they passed away. Right. And it's not really why we, you know, it's why we did it, but it's not. You know, how you know it what is, I'm man. saying? You know how it is. Bro. Right. So I, I really wanted to shed some light and some love on these two individuals. Uh, and I want to I want to give a special um, rest in peace to ex-coach, uh, ex-basketball coach of Temple, John Chaney, just recently passed away. Very influential um, in, in in basketball and in the civil rights movement. Mm. Um and and changing the narrative as well. So if you guys have a chance to look up, look actually, if you guys want to dive deeper into Hank Aaron and Cicely Tyson, I I advise you to, especially yeah. Cicely Tyson. There's so much. Like, there, are, my notes were too extensive to really go through, because um, it's it the list it, the list is so long. I the mean, just, you think about yeah. the years <laughs> she was knocking things out the park every right. year. Well, when um, you have that long of a, a of a life career and yeah. a career, yeah, you know, you're gonna have just. Pages and pages of basically right. uh, information. Go check out some of her old movies and yeah. stuff too, man. Like some yeah. dope stuff in there, man. But some if really you guys cool have stuff. a chance to check out John Chaney as well, um, please do. Um, he literally like just passed yesterday or the day before. Um, so go check that out. I was uh, reading up on him and, and kind of looking up some stories about him. So, um, yeah, check check it out, man. Check it out. Awesome, man. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us for this. Is our first episode of our Black History Month. We yes, got sir. three more planned for you guys. I hope you guys come back. Stick with us. Yeah, stick this with is, us. This is so much fun, Make man. sure you s- smash that subscribe button, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. comment, share. Please, 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 yeah, if you please, got comments, please. Man, let us know down below yeah. what you guys think, what you guys, you know. Yeah, any information you know, or whatever. Absolutely. It'll, it, any additional information, we might share it back here on the podcast coming up, you know, mm-hmm. like little tidbit or something that we forgot or didn't see so we thank you guys so much you guys stay safe you guys stay positive out there and as always this is the gray space